Hey, Yusuf here, back with another tier list video and another Marvel video. Uh, obviously, I've done a lot of Spider-Man videos, but I mean, what else could what else could I have done? You know, Spider-Man No Way Home is huge. Everyone's talking about it, and Spider-Man just happens to be my favorite Marvel character. Um, and I, this is another Marvel uh, tier list, though. And it's not just going to be MCU movies, it's just going to be every Marvel movie, because now with the multiverse happening, uh, there's going to be all the Marvel characters coming soon, and you know, I'm still 18 when I film this video, it's the 18th of December 2021, so it's like a week until I turn 19 now, on Christmas Day, uh, so <laughs> why not just do some more videos, I mean I have so many ideas, but it's just doing them that's the annoying part, because I just want to chill, uh, but yeah, um, I'm 18 as I film this, and... Yeah, I'm just going to do another Marvel tier list video. Let's go. Classic tier lists. I mean, it's how I started this channel. Technically, my first video was in October 2021, but I released it in like, the end of November. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is a full uh, Marvel tier list. So it's not just MCU movies. Um, I don't think this counts. Uh, but yeah... Um, so, this does, oh wait, how did, I mean, I did not see this, but, see, I, the ones that, like, I haven't really seen, I just won't rank, just like the irrelevant kind of ones, um, but, obviously, the majority of them are MCU movies, because, pretty much, uh, in the last few years, it's just been MCU, even with, like, the Sony ones, they're technically now MCU movies, especially since the end of No Way Home, uh, when Venom appeared, and obviously, <laughs> Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appearing in No Way Home. Like, they are technically MCU movies now, although it is part of the multiverse. But still, it's actually crazy when you think about it. They did bring back all three Spider-Men together uh, on screen. It was crazy. Uh, so, yeah, speaking of Spider-Man, I guess I'll rank the Spider-Man movies first. Just because Spider-Man uh, is uh, the big guy right now uh, and was always my favourite anyway. Tom Holland is my favourite Spider-Man, so let's start with, um, well, I mean, it would be smart to start with Homecoming, wherever it is. Uh, so the first movie I will be ranking is Spider-Man Homecoming over here. A or an S tier, uh, I'll give it an A tier, because it started off the, actually, technically Captain America Civil War started off Spider-Man in the MCU, and the best Spider-Man, <laughs> just my opinion. Um, wait. So yeah, technically Captain America Civil War started the MCU Spider-Man uh, and the best Spider-Man in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but Homecoming was the first official movie. Uh, I saw this when it came out. I was like 14, 15 at the time. Now I'm 18. And I'm going to give an A tier just because, you know, this Spider-Man is a relatable character. And Iron Man was in it and it was pretty sick. It was very linked to the MCU as well. So it was pretty crazy to see. Homecoming gets an A tier plus Vulture was pretty good as a villain. Uh, the whole twist of him being uh, the girl's dad was cool. Uh, and now now I'm going to do uh, Far From Home. I did prefer Far From Home to Homecoming, uh, but both were great movies. But I really did like Far From Home because Mysterio was done pretty well. Um, and Far From Home was just a good movie. It was also set after Avengers Endgame, after the snap. So, uh, you know, it was pretty cool that it was linked to the rest of... Well, it was pretty much after what happened with Thanos and stuff. You know, my guy Thanos. <laughs> what a guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, Thanos is sick. But <laughs> it's just funny, all the memes and that. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Far From Home is like an A tier above Homecoming. I'm not going to lie, it was it was good. Because of Mysterio. Uh, now, No Way Home isn't actually in this tier list. Because, I mean, No Way Home came out... <laughs> A couple of days ago. Um, but Spider-Man No Way Home would be an S tier. So, Spider-Man No Way Home is an S tier. Um, I mean, I just did a few videos on it and stuff, but I can't really rank it because it's not here. So, Spider-Man No Way Home and S tier. Now, I'll do the rest of the Spider-Man movies. Um, it's kind of tell. It's kind of hard to tell which one's which. So, I think this is uh, the first Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. 
Um, I mean, it's a classic. Uh, I'll give an A or a B, just because I am biased to um, MCU. So, uh, but you know, classic Spider-Man. The same as Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man Two was a bit better from what I remember. So I'll give an A tier. I was pretty young when I watched these. I have watched them slightly more recently, but I was very young when I first watched them. Uh, and then Spider-Man 3, where is it? <laughs> this is amazing Spider-Man, isn't it? So, um, where is Spider-Man 3? Not here. <laughs> Venom's here. Um, where's Spider-Man 3, though? Can't really see it anywhere. Well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do Amazing Spider-Man. Honestly, I liked Amazing Spider-Man. It's gonna get an A to. Um, people did not like this movie at first uh, when it came out. Honestly, I do like Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Tom Holland's is still the best, but Andrew Garfield was good. And obviously, Tobey Maguire's is the go the first OG one. But you know, uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man too, isn't it? So this had Electro in it. This is a B to. Um, Obviously, they improved Electro a lot in No Way Home, and all the villains were there anyway. Uh, but this is a B tier because it was not great, and it had the really bad Rhino as well. I mean, it was good, obviously, because it's a Spider Man movie, which is why it's B tier, uh, which is very high up. Uh, <laughs> the Lizard was this one. Um, but then again, in this movie, it had the whole death scene, so it kind of brings it up a bit. I don't know. Where's Spider Man 3, though? This had Spider Man 3 had Venom. Oh, here it is. And it had the black Spider Man suit. And I found this so cool when I was young. Uh, the black Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, it's a hated movie, but it gets an A tier. It was so sick back in the day. Spider Man. <laughs> controversial, but Spider Man 3. Uh, oh my. Okay, I'm, I'm bringing the classic Spider Man up. Um, and this is a mate. Okay. All the Spider Man movie, all the Spider Man movies get an A tier. Why not? <laughs> it's Spider Man. I'm biased, but they all get an A tier. Okay. Um, <laughs> this was not the Netflix Punisher. The Netflix Punisher would get um, an A or a B, um, maybe an A. But this is not the Netflix Punisher, so bring that down. This is an F. <laughs> That Fantastic Four, but the original Fantastic Four um, <laughs> was pretty good. I remember watching it when I was young. This was Fantastic Four 2 with Silver Surfer. Of course I watched these when I was young as well. <laughs> uh, the original can get a C to it and the Silver Surfer one. It had a really bad Galactus who was like a cloud. That was just some joke, man. Cloud Galactus, it was not good. Uh, <laughs> so, just kind of average... I mean, I had Silver Surfer, which was cool, but it's a D tier. It's a D tier. Just because of that joke, man, Cloud Galactus, that was just so bad. It was just... I don't even know. Uh, I guess I'll do a few of the MCU ones. The original Hulk, C tier, um, F tier. Captain America Civil War, Introduce Spider-Man, yeah, it was very... I, I mean, actually, why haven't I put these Spider-Man in S tier? Oh, wait, I haven't even used the S tier yet kind of dumb, uh, but obviously these Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming, they get an S tier, just because of the black Spider-Man S tier, Civil War S tier, Civil War was so cool, uh, I had everyone in it, so, I mean, and it started off the MCU Spider-Man, um, this Punisher, what's going on, let, let me look this up, Punisher, because I, I, I didn't realise there was, Punisher movies. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, this is not the Netflix Punisher because it's movies, so there's not going to be Netflix shows. But let's say it is the Netflix Punisher and give it an A. Because <laughs> um, if there were shows here... Oh, yeah, I should have done uh, Marvel shows and movies because then I could include Daredevil. Wait. Marvel shows and movies tier list. Oh... Just so it includes non MCU. Create all the Marvel movies. Okay, here we go. Ugh, I need to change. Let's see.
So will this include? Yeah, it will. Okay, this 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 one looks good. All right. So I need to move all the Spider-Man movie Spider-Man movies up. So Homecoming S tier, Far From Home. S tier. Um, I did Civil War, which had everyone, including Spider Man. S tier. Now we've got Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man Two B. Um, Amazing Spider Man One A. Or was it S? Yeah, it was more S A kind of thing. Um, actually, no, it was it was A because this tier list was not here before, so. No Way Home would be in best. Um, then, original Spider-Man, S. No, A, because I preferred Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Where's Spider-Man 3? <laughs> or oh, is it not here? I mean, obviously it is. Um... Okay, uh, now, okay, yeah, so this has TV shows like Daredevil and stuff, which is good. Uh, more Spider-Man, S, and this Spider-Man gets an S. Okay, now, let's do some MCU stuff. Thor The Dark World, overhated. Um, I'm gonna give Thor the Dark World an A tier. <laughs> it's it's overhated. I watched this when it came out and it was it was good. Uh, original Hulk, C tier. Um, it wasn't bad, but you know they did recast it. So this Hulk movie, <laughs> I watched this when I was young. It was so funny. I hardly remember anything from it, but it was just Hulk jumping around. So also a C tier. <laughs> um. Now we've got. Oh yeah, original Fantastic Four B. Um, this one is F or trash. <laughs> Logan, Logan. Oh, wait, I'll go on to X Men stuff soon. Um, B. Uh, Defenders. I mean, it wasn't as good as the original shows, but like. I'll do high B and then Daredevil S tier. And it was so sick seeing Daredevil No Way Home. Just so good. Uh Thor Ragnarok A tier. Thor Ragnarok was great. Um it was a good movie. And it was cool to see Hulk and Thor at the time. Guardians of the Galaxy, very good. Um A tier. What a classic. Saw that when it came out and it's very original as well. Because it wasn't done before and it was unknown characters. This was X-Men Days of Future Past or something like that. This is a trash. Um, wait, no, I, I mixed it up. This is a trash. This I have not seen. Um, I haven't seen this. And I'm happy I haven't seen it because it's, I don't know. The Blade ones, I haven't actually seen them, but they are doing Blade in the MCU, so that's going to be sick. Maybe I saw, maybe I saw it when I was young and I forgot, um, but I haven't actually seen them. I know that they are supposed to be very good, though. Uh, original X-Men, obviously I've seen these, and they, most of them get an A tier, because the original X-Men movies were so cool back then. <laughs> they were so cool. Um, Logan was also very good. It was the end of the Fox X-Men stuff. So maybe also an A tier, but it was kind of like slow and stuff. But I mean, it was very, very good. But compared to like the OG X Men, it was just Iron Man A tier, Iron Fist. <laughs> People hate this one, but I just think it's cool that they uh, made a show for the character. So like upper B tier, like here. Yeah. Can bring this down. Um, Deadpool. 
I mean, I find Deadpool okay. I mean, it's cool that they do it. Um, it's cool that they made movies for Deadpool, so it'd be to Thor, original Thor, beta. I lost my light, which is my phone torch. Should be fine. Uh, finish it off without my phone torch light. Um, I mean, the light will be worse, but you know. Original Captain America. I mean, I've done an MCU tailor, so I don't really need to get into these as much. But it's a C tier. Original Avengers S. I mean, I can move a lot of these into best, if I'm going to be honest. And then I'll... Reserve like S to for stuff. Eight is very good. Um, there's a lot of great movies here. Um, okay, now this is more X-Men. This has Iceman in it, which is cool. I mean, all of them had Iceman in it, but Iceman's my favourite X-Men character. Although Wolverine as well, and Nightcrawler and Beast and stuff. <laughs> all of them. This was, like, first class, uh, which I actually think was okay. So I'm going to do, like, a high B tier. Now, where's the... Okay, Jessica Jones was pretty good. Um... Original floor is higher. Um, F to or trash. <laughs> this one, this uh, X Men movie was okay. It was all about time travel and stuff, so I'll put it like here. Avengers: Infinity War, best for sure. Spider-Man No Way Home should be above Infinity War, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, Infinity War, Endgame, obviously they are best, because they're Infinity War and Endgame. So. But No Way Home would actually be above them. I'm kind of, yeah, so. <laughs> no Way Home would actually be above these two, oh, but they are in best here. Daredevil, okay. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange, it's cool that Doctor Strange is uh, such a big part of the MCU. It's cool to see, because it's someone that I've known since I was young. Same with Daredevil as well, and of course Spider-Man, who was my favourite from a young age. But yeah, um, Luke Cage was pretty good. I'll put it like next to Iron Fist, you know, because they're a duo anyway in the comics. Um, this Wolverine movie, I don't think was that good. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron, best. I loved that movie. Uh, just because back then it was so sick to see. Um, Ant-Man was good. Um, a tier. This X-Men movie, just put it in A tier. Because I, you can't, I can't really tell which one was which. But I remember them all. But from the posters, I just can't really tell. <laughs> uh, Punisher Netflix. Yes. Um, this one, D. Uh, haven't seen that. Deadpool 2. B as well, just with the original. <laughs> um, Black Panther, R.I.P. Gets an A. Gets an A. Like here. No. Yeah, like around here. Okay. Um, and, and the Wasp, B. Haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen. This is the original Fantastic Four, but I've, so I've already ranked the original Fantastic Four, but that's an A. Haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen this Daredevil. Nope, nope. 
Iron Man 2, A tier. Iron Man 3, A tier. Captain America Winter Soldier, A tier. Ghost Rider, they will, they should bring this to the MCU, haven't seen it, but, uh, F. Okay, so, <coughs> this is by MCU Movies, ranking, I'm moving this original Hulk up, because it was funny, I can move Venom up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. No Way Home would be here as well in best. And uh, then of course Spider-Man Homecoming Far From Home. Civil War, so good. Avengers Age of Ultron, Daredevil. <laughs> Daredevil's goated. Um, Spider-Man of course is the goat anyway. So all of Spider-Man's movies are like near the top. Uh, and then A tier, Iron Man. And, oh yeah, all the X-Men stuff. And yeah, there's more coming soon in the MCU. So yeah, subscribe. This is my Marvel movies and TV shows uh, tier list. Daredevil was in the MCU. The appearance in No Way Home was so hype. Uh, Toby and Andrew in No Way Home with Tom Holland was so hype. Um, and yeah, subscribe for more videos. I have so many ideas, but it's just hard to do. Uh, and yeah, subscribe. Actually, I think I was too harsh on Deadpool. It can go up a bit, but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this, this is my uh, MCU tier list. Yeah, I mean, not MCU, just Marvel tier list. All these trash ones. <laughs> always always trash. Um, yeah. A lot of them are pretty good. So B tier is all really good. C tier is actually pretty good as well. Um, C tier is pretty good. So... I mean, a lot of the X-Men stuff is probably lower, like this. Uh, but yeah, this is Marvel tier list, so, yeah. I don't know. 